had another lovely sleep, guys. We had a lion this morning, got up at 8.30, which is very nice. And look what Keegan has made for us. A lovely breakfast. What a boy. Thank you. Thank you. We've got scrambled eggs. These are Clarence Court eggs, which are very posh eggs. They were, see the, they were reduced, but they're the best eggs. So you can see they're, they're orange, they're not yellow, which is the sign of a healthy chicken and a healthy egg. The more yellow the yolk, the more um, old an egg is. Right. Uh, and we've got some bacon and then some of our coffee. That's how I know I like strong coffee, because yesterday in the manual here, it says about two teaspoons of coffee grounds uh, per cup and I couldn't really taste any coffee, so we went to Costa Coffee. So this morning I put four in, and it's so much better, but that just means that I'm just a coffee addict, I think. How are the eggs? Good. I love the bacon as well. Mm, nice. So the plan for today is actually to get some work done, so not being fully off-grid in terms of not doing any work but i'm really excited for that i'm gonna edit a video today i don't need the internet to edit a video i've just got my memory card and my laptop but we're gonna go to a place called royal victoria country park today because it means keegan and i might join him i'm not sure can go for a cold dip in the water in the sea um we can walk the dogs we can sit in the cafe and yeah do some work we also need to start planning season two of our podcast happy healthy homo um so we're going to be doing that oh thank you another bit of bacon Lovely. And then we'll come back and we'll we'll do some reading and go on a dog another walk probably. But we've got a barbecue at my parents' house tonight, which is gonna be really nice. I'm just looking forward to doing a bit of work in the countryside. A man of many words. <laughs> We've grabbed a coffee and uh, this is actually Royal Victoria Country Park is so lovely and I've come here ever since I was a kid and every time I forget about this building and what it actually is but I know what it was used as during one of the wars I'm not sure which they used it as a hospital for soldiers um, and there's lots of stories of soldiers who were brought here to recover and then sort of spent their time here right on the coast on the sea but yeah so I'll try and find out some more information because I think there is some somewhere and tell you about it because uh, I, I found it really interesting. You probably can't hear me because it's windy, but we're gonna strip off and get in. Because we're crazy. Uh, there's no one around, which is good. I just feel a bit self-conscious that we're going in these murky Southampton waters, but we're gonna do it. It looks cold. You make a commitment to yourself, follow through. There you go. We went for our cold dip. It wasn't actually that cold, which I was pleased about. How did it compare to you? Yeah, it was, it was, it was like a mystery dip because you couldn't really see what was in the water, so. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit murky and uh, the, the sand was very spongy. Well, at first it was very prickly on the feet and then it got very spongy and we we're like, what is this? Is it mud, is it? Sometimes it's best not to know. Ignorance yeah. is sometimes a bliss. Sometimes, yes. Uh, but we're just going on a nice little walk through the forest. Then we're going to be heading back home, getting showered, and it'll be time to go to my my barbecue at my family's house. So what a day. The days soon go past, don't they? That's how time works, babe. Oh, okay. <laughs> So guys, this used to be the plot. The, the building you see in the middle there is the chapel. And there was all these buildings. It was a big hospital, loads of wards, an asylum as well. 
um, but the only thing that still remains is the chapel. 1966. Oh right. The England won the World Cup. That's sad. Why do they do that? There was a fire and it was unused. Uh, that is so sad. I am obsessed with asylums, guys, from back in the day when, as well, they didn't really know how to treat mental health. It's just one of these things. Anything set in an asylum in like the early 1900s or late 1800s, I love anything to do that. So if any of you have any films or books that are set during those times, let me know because I can't get enough of it. Right, Keegan's just gone inside to get our second coffee and first cake. But look, I've seen a dog wash so you can pay. You either pay for a one-off dog wash and look, you get all these different sections. Shampoo, rinse, conditioner, flea wash, blow dry, blow dry, disinfect. Or you can pay monthly and get access to these dog washes all over the country. So I've never used one, but it would be quite useful for Ava because she always goes in the mud. Just got my laptop out to try and do a tiny bit of work before we leave. And Keegan's got us this amazing dark chocolate cake and Royal, Royal Victoria sponge. In Victoria Car Park. Royal Victoria Country Park. That's the one. That's the one. Lovely. You've gone for a coffee? I have, yeah. And I've gone for something that's going to kill me one day. Pepsi Max. But I love it. Right back at the house just in time. It's chucking it down. Uh, home sweet home. I've come to really love this cabin, guys. I'm sad we're leaving tomorrow. <laughs> we're having a very makeshift picnic lunch. High protein. <laughs> High protein. We've got some cocktail sausages, olives, we've got some chicken, ham, and then some garlic and paprika prawns. I'm really looking forward to those. And then some chocolate. For dessert. Lovely. It's really cozy because it's raining outside. Um, but it's still warm, so we've got the door open. It's just very weird that this is mid-July and the weather's been very rainy. But we've still had a lovely time, which is great. This is just the coziest thing ever, guys. My fave book. Rainy forest, some chocolate, a cosy bed. Keegan's bit is all ready for him. Come on, hop him. <laughs> this is literally the dream. I'm a simple boy, guys. All I want is my boyfriend, a book, and a rainy cabin in the forest. And lots of money. And lots of money. <laughs> Well guys, we are back and guess what? Guess who forgot to film anything? <laughs> um, anyway, I don't feel too bad because it was nice to, the last time we all got together like that was at Christmas. So um, it was just nice to, we were there for about four hours. Anyway, we're back, got some logs, gonna have a fire, read our books, last evening here together. And then me and Keegan won't see each other for four or five days. But yeah, I'm going to see my family again tomorrow and it will mark the end of this vlog and the start of some new vlogs. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But anyway, in the meantime, let's go get a fire started and enjoy our last evening together for a while. The dogs are just having a wander around. Come on. So we've got some friends for this evening. <laughs> the dogs aren't so sure. Ah, Ava and Fen, stop it. Stop. Ah, be quiet. Oh. Hello. Now the fire is lit. We've got some Pepsi Max and some caramel latte cheesecake. We, we do not need this. We've literally had a lovely barbecue and dessert. Mum made the most amazing cream fruit cake. It's our last night of holiday. So, just got our books, cheesecake, and a Pepsi Max. Our bookie works. Our bookie works. Hello, Ava. Ben's asleep in the cabin, because he's lazy. Good morning, guys. <laughs> it's the next morning, and uh, Keegan and Ben have just left. They've gone back up north, and Ava and I are now on our second part of our adventure, aren't we? We are gonna pack up here, head to my parents, spend 24 hours there, and then we're gonna head to London tomorrow. And we're gonna be in London until Tuesday now, so. Yeah, it's gonna be very fun. We took some Polaroids whilst we were here. So there's Keegan on the bed, me. Keegan on the fire, that's Keegan and Finn. There's Ava. There's still five left in the camera. Where's the camera? There it is, sorry, all the coffee beans. But maybe I could take a selfie of me and Ava. Let's try. Should we try and get a selfie? Yeah. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh, let's see how that turns out. Shake it, sh shake it. Oh, that is so cute. Daddy and daughter. She's looking right at the camera as well. Oh, I love these. 
I don't know what this vlog was like. I don't. I can't really remember what I filmed. <laughs> so I hope there's enough to watch, and I hope it was a good vlog. I've really enjoyed this day. I haven't got my phone out yet. Shall I get my phone out, and we can see like how many messages I've had? I've probably had none. <laughs> Open the box. Phone. Let's switch it on. Ugh. This feels weird. I've actually really enjoyed not having my phone. It's been so nice. I, they're, they're so right in the paraphernalia for Unplugged. It says that you might feel a bit anxious and it would take maybe two to three days to start feeling like a release without it. I think that happened a bit sooner for me. Uh, maybe like one to two days in. I'm really pleased that I've been able to do it and I'm really now like, oh, I can't believe I've got to look at my phone again. But. I am also, there is a part of me that is also like, oh, I've missed, like, I've missed it a little bit, but not that much. Um, I do need to edit a video today, which is annoying, so I'm cracking straight back on with work. <laughs> not as many as I thought, 142 emails. And bearing in mind, I am someone that keeps my emails at zero, if I can. So, yeah, I need to sort through those. I haven't even opened Instagram yet. Oh, it's gone up to 150. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I definitely, me and Keegan are definitely going to do this again. And Keegan hasn't been able to fully switch off because he kind of forgot that we had this in the diary and he'd had things planned. So he had to last minute rearrange some calls. And so he, he has been off his phone. Um, but some, like, he's been on his phone every day at some point. So he was like, I want to do it again when I can, like, completely switch off and lock my phone away and everything. So I think we're definitely going to try it again. And it would be nice to do it in winter because then we could use the wood burner in the corner of the, of the cabin because I think it would just be too hot this time of year to put that on. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And stay tuned for some more London vlogs coming very, very soon. But yeah. Thanks guys, see you soon. It's just gone up to 172. Oh God.